but I want to break down this acronym today called CASH. Cash me outside? <laughs> cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> so CASH. CASH is the reason why most guys are not shredded. Now there's four crucial shredding mistakes that most guys are making. So I'm going to use this acronym so you guys remember it because I was told as a kid by my teachers that you remember things with acronyms. So C-A-S-H. I'm going to get into these top four shredding mistakes. Been in pain like me. Bought a hundred dollar bottle of champagne like me. Just to pour that motherfucker down the drain like me. Would you use your water bill to dry the stain like me? So what are we doing today? Swinging. We are swinging. Working on my tennis game. Man versus machine over here. Training just in case the robots take over. Because these odd robots, they are tough competition. Let me tell you what. So I'm at the tennis center right here. This ball machine is insane. You literally press this button and it can just zoom over here like 80 miles an hour. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But I wanna break down this acronym today called CASH. Cash me outside? <laughs> cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> so CASH. CASH is the reason why most guys are not shredded. Now there's four crucial shredding mistakes that most guys are making. So I'm gonna use this acronym so you guys remember it because I was told as a kid by my teachers that you remember things with acronyms. So C-A-S-H, I'm gonna get into these top four shredding mistakes. I'm gonna hit this little button here and uh, hopefully beat this machine too. So you guys gotta check this out. Ugh, there we go. Training to beat Djokovic. Man, I'm pumped. My boy Federer just won the Australian Open. And if you guys don't know this about me, pretty nasty little athlete, so I'm gonna break down some tennis and some basketball skills for you soon. Try not to hit the camera. <laughs> ah. Woo! Alright. Now that I'm up on the machine, one more. Oh, shit. That was bad. Alright. Stop! No more! <laughs> Alright. Enough of this nonsense. Oh shit, one more. We'll do a lob in there. All right, so C stands for not enough compound exercises. This is so crucial. If you're trying to get shredded, quit doing bicep curls, quit doing tricep rope extensions, all the shapers. You wanna do compound exercises. This is where the magic happens. These are your body's largest. Oh my gosh, let me catch my breath. <laughs> These are your body's largest and strongest muscle groups. So the most powerful thing that you can do in the weight room to get shredded is 10 total sets per week of these five compound exercises. Squat, deadlift, barbell bench press, weighted pull-ups, and standing military press, so standing overhead presses. You're pretty much gonna work out your entire body and if you focus, that's 50 sets per week in the gym of compound exercises. There is nothing else that you could do that's gonna get you shredded faster than going hard on 50 total sets of compound exercises per week. So the first tip is quit doing shapers. If you only have three to four hours per week to spend in the gym, start doing some compound exercises. So that is the C. Let me hit a few more here. I haven't played tennis in like probably six months. Ah oh, shit. Alright, 1-1, one, one, band versus machine. There we go. Ah. Here we go. Get in a backhand. Ah, there we go. If any of you guys want to play me, let me know. <laughs> ah. Here we go, little bitch. I'm gonna fuck this machine up. Ah. Ah, woo, there we go. Bitch. Ah, all right, Take up my anger on the machine. Ah, okay, stop. <laughs> okay, so the A stands for bad anabolic timing. And this means not hitting your proteins and your carbs and your fats at the right time. So, this goes, um, what am I trying to say here? Let me catch my breath. <laughs> So bad anabolic timing basically means that you're not eating a lot of carbs at the right time and you're not eating a lot of protein and healthy fats at the right time. And that's why if you really wanna get shredded, you're gonna to have to track your calories somehow. So I just started cutting three days ago. I'm at about 12% body fat right now. I'm gonna get down to about 8% in a month and then try to get to about five and a half, six percent 6% the following month. And I'm tracking all my calories. So what I'm doing here is carbohydrate timing is most important. So 
I'm doing my carbs in the morning. If it's a big workout day and I'm training earlier in the day, and I'm doing my carbs pre-workout and post-workout. Now, think about this. The most anabolic thing in your body is insulin. So if you're trying to maintain muscle mass on a shredding diet, which is so crucial because it's not that hard to lose fat. What's hard is to lose a lot of fat and maintain all your muscle mass. So if you want to maintain all your muscle mass, even build muscle and increase your strength, you got to do a lot of carbohydrates after you train. So I try to save most of my carbohydrates for after my training because insulin has the most anabolic effect post-workout. So I'm eating about 250 to 275 grams of carbs per day right now. And I'm saving about half of those for the hour window after my workout. So I'm loading up on fruit. Like today I had brown rice, I had pineapple, I had some grilled chicken, about 100 grams of carbs right there. I'm gonna drink some coconut water because I'm out here sweating, doing some extra cardio today. Um, if you're trying to get shredded, it's gonna have a lot more positive effect on your body composition post-workout versus eating a bunch of carbs right before you go to bed. So pay attention to the nutrient timing, kind of spread your protein out throughout the day and make sure you have about, I'd say 50% of your total carbohydrates of the day within the hour, hour and a half after your workout window. And another great time is pre-workout, especially if you guys are doing leg day or you're doing push-pull workouts, having a lot of intensity in the gym, definitely want to have some carbohydrates before you work out to optimize that training intensity. But other than that, try to just basically consume most of your carbohydrates pre, intra, and post-workout, and you guys are gonna be shredded. So that is the A, and you guys are gonna love the S because it stands for, what does it stand for? That's right, it stands for Starbucks. Let me, oh shit, okay. Back to the, back to the grind of man versus machines. Oh no, that was bad, I'm getting stiff. Oh. All right, let me get some backhands in. I used to love hitting backhands. So I don't know if you guys are tennis fans, but I'm a huge Federer fan. I was so excited when he won the Australian Open because I've seen so many of his matches the last four to five years, and he was so close to winning a Grand Slam, and he just choked. He was so close. But he's the GOAT. I think he's got 19 Grand Slams, 18 or 19 total now, so. Ugh. So the S stands for, this is big guys, Starbucks. Now Starbucks is a metaphor for people drinking way too many calories. I'm starting to feel my backhand now. Oh, there we go. Now follow through. All right, let me stop this. Let me give you guys an example here. This little, this bang right here. I'm not saying this is the healthiest thing in the world, but it has a lot of amino acids. It's got a lot of caffeine. Yeah, it has artificial flavors and sweeteners, but if I'm trying to get shredded, I am so much better off drinking a zero calorie energy drink versus a 400 calorie frappuccino. So if you guys are trying to get shredded, save your calories for food. Like, I don't know about you guys, but it's a lot more fun to consume cheesecake and Fruity Pebble cereal, Fruit Loops. Last night I had like four bowls of Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. It's a lot more fun to consume your calories from whole food than it is to drink it. And Calories go really quick when you're drinking it, so like fruit juice and soda, even energy drinks that aren't the uh, low calorie kind, they contain a ton of sugar, but number one is Starbucks. Like, oh my God. I would, like Starbucks is one of the leading causes of obesity in the world. And if you look at the menu, the only things that don't have calories are coffee and tea. So if you guys are trying to get shredded, save your calories for whole food, quit going to Starbucks. My favorite things to do, especially when I'm craving sugar, is I will do uh, like low calorie energy drinks. I'll do green tea, I'll do coffee with cinnamon. I'll do a little bit of like a splash of MCT oil or coconut oil in there. Or I'll simply drink like a lot of carbonated water with lemon juice, lime juice, stuff like that. So tons of great low calorie options. And uh, let me hit a few more here against the machine. And I'm gonna go to H and we're gonna complete our acronym of CASH. Here we go. Oh no, oh, that was ugly. Don't judge me, guys. <laughs> there we go. All right, two more. Oh no. Whew. 
Ah, oh, trying to hit the camera. <laughs> there we go. Get in there. Put it along. So the H stands for high intensity interval training. You guys gotta do sprinting. Now, I know I'm doing slow twitch cardio right now, but most people are trying to get shredded. They're doing lots of slow twitch cardio. Now slow twitch cardio technically is playing tennis. Playing tennis, jogging, biking, doing any type of exercise at a low to a moderate intensity. Now, when you're trying to get shredded, the best thing in the world that you can do is high intensity interval training because it's gonna boost your metabolism post-workout. So although you burn around the same amount of calories while you're doing the workout, what happens is you're gonna burn a ton of calories post-workout. Ah, there we go. Killing this machine right here. So there's been studies that have shown you actually accelerate your metabolism for up to 24 hours doing a sprinting interval workout. So I think my next video on the channel, I'm gonna show you guys a badass fat burning sprinting workout. But uh, high intensity interval training, you only need to do it two to three times per week. You guys are gonna have some incredible fat loss results. So slow twitch cardio, I call it fat hamster cardio because typically the overweight people at the gym, they think that it, they need to do a lot of cardio, but really cardio can make you fat because you only burn calories during the activity, you lower some really crucial hormones in your body. That's the other thing too. With high intensity interval training, good forehand. With high intensity interval training, not only are you increasing your metabolism post-workout, you're increasing your human growth hormone and your testosterone. So that pretty much completes the CASH acronym, the top four mistakes preventing most guys from being shredded. So C, not enough compound exercises. A stands for poor anabolic timing. The S stands for Starbucks, which means drinking too many calories. And the H stands for not enough high intensity interval training. There we go, crush that machine. <laughs> Terrible swing there. So that is cash. And I think it's time we let the camera woman try to hit a few so you guys can check out his backhand. What do you guys think? <laughs> ah, there we go. All right. So we're gonna let the camera woman do some swinging. So here, we'll, we'll do a switch. I'm gonna go lefty. Ah, there you go. So she's a pro. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look at that swag. All right. Almost hit somebody over there. Yeah. The funny thing is she's actually better than my dad at tennis. My dad is like the worst tennis player in the history of mankind. I'm actually amazed I can even tie my shoes because my dad is a pretty bad athlete. So, <laughs> whoa. There we go. Swing through. Look at that. Killing it. You have anything to say? Kitty Gaines? What show are you rocking? Like Dan Show, go get it. Like Dan Show? <laughs> oh shit. There you go. So she's the proud owner of kittygaines.com. I think I've I think we thought of the name together. I like to say I thought of it, but I think I thought of it. I think I thought of the name drunk actually to be honest, but kittygames.com buy your girlfriend a leg day and chill shirt <laughs> or for yourself or for yourself <sighs> there you go beat the machine we gotta train to beat the machine there you go it's actually only the third time she's played not bad starting to swing through swing through oh shit i almost got hit <laughs> so that's a wrap guys i just wanted you to remember c-a-s-h Cash. Cash me outside is the reason most people are not shredded. That one's coming right for the camera. So do 10 sets of compound exercises, dial in that anabolic timing, quit drinking your calories from Starbucks, and crank up that high intensity interval training. And most importantly, let me know in the comments below any questions that you have, anything you want me to cover. I'm trying to take this channel to the next level. And uh, that's a wrap, guys. So if this is your first time on the channel, Please let me know what you thought of the video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys real soon. In fact, I think I'm gonna be uploading a Spring Break six-pack vlog 
um, probably tomorrow or the next day. So see you guys soon. Would you use your water bill to try to stay in like me? Are you happy?